Tricky situation here, we're just coming up to uh, one of the many badly charted reefs in this part of the world. Um, we've got a choice of going above or below it, we're not really comfortable going over it with the chance that we've got. Yeah, well we had a we had a big coral island which um, you had to decide which which side of it you went wanted to go. It's about 40 miles across. We're here, E4 and Puma are about 10 miles due east of us. We've been sailing high and slow a lot of the night to try and get to try and get to the left off them. We're a bit worried about the pressure on the uh, on the other side of these reefs long term. So, um, so we've been making a bit of an investment in the north. The option either to go up or to go down. Yeah, yeah that's that's right. Um, yeah, yeah, we can't can't go through them. These guys are in 55, which are aiming sort of straight at the shoal, really, and then. And yeah, I mean, yeah, the Puma and the E4 are heading straight for the, for the main bulk of it. The immediate question is how how low can we go and still not not hit something? That's, um, yeah, I mean, because we we, that's what we want to do. Uh, Telephonic Blue and ourselves went over the top. Ericsson 3 went underneath, um, and in fact, a couple of the boats found a gap through the middle. So. Um, well, you know, that, that was okay. That's, you know, we overtook Delta Lloyd doing that. Telefonica Blue did okay, but I think Ericsson 3 have probably done the best job of just hammering down into the right-hand corner. Some of the fleet have dived off south to get under it, and uh, these two guys have uh, managed to go straight over the top somehow. But uh, maybe we could have taken a bit more risk, but, uh, well, the boat's still on one piece. Green Dragon is actually taking the high road now, so now it's just a question of how much we foot off in order to get to the shift on the on the right hand side. We're all we're all in a line heading out to the west and the wind starts to head, so obviously the further ahead you are the further um, sorry, the further east you've got. So um, we tacked on that first shift and actually now with the wind coming back to the left it doesn't look it doesn't look too bad a decision, but um, it's one of those situations where the guys in the front should extend because they sat into the shift first. We just can't understand what's going on right now with the wind so far left, so we've got some big decisions to make in the next three or four hours.